Hi guys, it's Hinda and welcome to a new video on cooking fantasies. In today's video and as promised, we're going to be making these beautiful and delicious lemon meringue tartlets. Using the tart crust we made together in a previous video, I'm going to be leaving the link down in the description box. Today we're going to be preparing a very delicious lemon curd and an Italian meringue to garnish our beautiful tartlets. If you are new to the channel, we make a lot of delicious things here and easy recipes. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get all the notifications and let's get started. And as always, I'm going to be leaving you down in the description box all the ingredients you're going to need in both the grams and the cups measurements, as well as the link to the video recipe where we made the tart crust and some other tart variations, so don't forget to check it out. So basically you already have your tart crust ready, now we're going to prepare a very delicious and easy lemon curd that will fill the shells. And for this you're gonna need to zest two organic lemons. Make sure to get only the yellow part and not the white part. This will make your lemon curd bitter. And we're gonna need the juice of about three lemons to have the quantity we need. Now in a saucepan you're gonna add the eggs, the sugar, the lemon juice and the lemon zest. Whisk everything together till well combined, then place your saucepan on a medium heat. You want to keep whisking continuously so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and you want to cook it for about three to four minutes after the thickening or the boiling point to make sure that the eggs are thoroughly cooked. Then remove it from the heat and immediately add in the butter that should be preferably cold and cut into small cubes. You can use either a whisk or a hand blender to blend everything together. And the lemon curd is ready, so make sure to pour it on the tartlets before it sets. If you've watched the previous video where we made the tart shells together, I advise you to glaze them. By doing this, you're gonna prevent the shells from absorbing the moist from the lemon curd, which makes them stay crunchy and good for the longest time. Once you pour the lemon curd into the tart shells, make sure to even it out if needed, then place them in the fridge to cool and set for at least a couple of hours. And once the lemon curd has set, we're gonna prepare an Italian meringue. We're gonna start by making a syrup with water and sugar. So place them on a medium to low heat and allow the syrup to cook. Once it reaches about 100 degrees Celsius, that's about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it reaches this temperature, you wanna start beating the egg whites that should be in room temperature. So by now the syrup is cooking, you've already start beating the egg whites, they start getting foamy and thick. Once the syrup reaches 118 degrees Celsius, that's 245 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna remove it from the heat and start pouring it slowly on the egg whites while continuously beating on a medium to high speed. And make sure to pour it smooth and slowly from the side of your mixing bowl. Once you have incorporated all the syrup, you're gonna see that your mixing bowl is now warm from the heat of the syrup. So what you're gonna do is keep whisking on a high speed or medium speed until the temperature drops and your mixing bowl is not hot anymore. 
and this could take about 10 minutes minimum or 15 minutes depending on the speed or the performance of your whisking machine or if you're doing that with a machine or with the hands. And finally, place your meringue in a piping bag and pipe it on your tartlets after the lemon curd has totally set. And here is no right or wrong way to do it. You can pipe them like you want, how you want them to look. It would look and taste nice no matter what. You can even go ahead and try one piping design on each tartlet like I like to do for fun sometimes. And finally, torch your meringue. This doesn't only add to the visual, but it does add a nice flavor. The burning meringue is a very delicious flavor that goes really nice with the lemon curd. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and you will be trying it out soon. If you do, please let me know how it turned out. I'm always happy to read from you and your feedbacks. I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get all the notifications. And see you soon in a new video. Happy baking!